Good morning, kindergarten friends. Today for our greeting, we are going to learn a brand new song. It is called Have a Good Morning, Have a Good Day, and it is by Jack Hartman. So today's going to be the first day we learn it, so it's okay if you don't know the words yet. We're going to keep practicing for a few more days. Here we go. Have a good morning, have a good day, do your very as we work and play Have a good morning Have a good day Be kind and helpful Put a smile on your face Everybody clap your hands Clap your hands Clap your hands With all of your friends Clap your hands Clap your hands Have a good morning Have a good day Everybody sway your hips, sway your hips, sway your hips with all of your friends. Sway your hips, sway your hips, have a good morning, have a good day. Everybody swing your arms, swing your arms, swing your arms with all of your friends. Swing your arms. Swing your arms, have a good morning, have a good day, have a good morning, have a good day, do your very best as we work and play, have a good morning, have a good day, be kind and helpful, put a smile on your face, everybody step front, step back, Step front and back with your friends Step front, step back Have a good morning, have a good day Everybody dance up high, dance down low Dance high and low with your friends Dance up high, dance down low Have a good morning have a good day, have a good morning, have a good day! Great work with that new song. Today for our sharing question, I want to know one thing that makes you nervous or worried. What does it mean to be nervous or worried? Well, when I'm nervous or worried, sometimes my belly feels like there's butterflies in it. Or sometimes my heart feels like it's beating really fast. Or I just feel really uncomfortable and sad. Sometimes, something that makes me nervous is being a risk taker. But you know what? It's okay to be a risk taker. Our October word, our attribute of the month is risk taker. So what does it mean to be a risk taker? If we're a risk taker, we are trying new things. Even if we don't, we're not sure about it, we can try new things anyways. And if we make a mistake, it's okay because we were being a risk taker. So what's one thing that makes you nervous? And I want you to remember, it's okay to be nervous. But the most important thing is we have to know how to deal with it when we're nervous or when we're worried. Something that I like to do is do big belly breaths. So... When I'm nervous, I take a deep breath in and I blow up my belly like a big balloon. And then I practice blowing out a candle. So I hold my finger in front of my mouth like it's a candle and blow it out. So I make my belly big and blow out my candle. And I do three of those. And that helps me calm my body down and get ready to be a risk taker. So today, for our story, we're going to read about somebody who's pretty worried, and they're a risk taker too. So I want you to think while I'm reading, how is this person being a risk taker? This story is called Wemberly Worry, and it is written by Kevin Henkes. Wemberly worried about everything. Big things, says I wanted to make sure you're still here. 
little things, sassy spills juice, and things in between. Mama, what if I shrink? Wemberly worried in the morning, she worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wemberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? And the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiator made. What if there's something inside of it? At the playground, Wemberly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. And always she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't Petal have a car seat too? Petal is lost forever. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wemberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wemberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wemberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. This is the best present ever. I wish I had my birthday today. But then, Wemberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wemberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then, Wemberly worried because she was the only one. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wemberly had a new worry. School. Wemberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. By the time the first day arrived, Wemberly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wemberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. Grandma's over here. She says, have fun. When Wemberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peachum, Wemberly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wemberly, there is someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. At first, Wemberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wemberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wemberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Throughout the morning, Wemberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side, too. Wemberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wemberly knew it, it was time to go home. 
Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peacham as the students walked out the door. Wemberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. So, how was Wemberly a risk taker in this story? What did she do that she was a risk taker? I want you to think about it. All right, we're going to read our morning message next. Buenos dias. Today is Thursday, October 1st. It is a B day. We have library and PSPE. We will continue to use our choice boards. Let's have a great day. Love, Miss G. Sonrisas. So yesterday, we were at the end of our month. There weren't any more days left. So then what happened? It turned into October. We know from reading our morning message that today is Thursday or Jueves, October. And in Spanish, October is Octubre, Octubre 1st. Today is Thursday, October 1st. How many days have we been in kindergarten? We're gonna add our next stick. Right. So let's take a look. How many groups of 10 do we have? We have two groups of 10 and we know two groups of 10 is equal to how many ones? It's gonna be 20 ones. So we have our number 20. Remember 20 is a two and a zero. Then we put in our plus sign. Let's take a look at how many ones we have. How many do you see? One, two. So let's write our number two. Then we put in our equal sign. Let's think in our heads with the add and add method. Hmm, 20, 21, 22. 22 is two twos put right next to each other. We've been in kindergarten 22 whole days. Nice job, everybody.